friends, this is Mayank, founder of Archetype, and this is going to be a pretty quick video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now select single view application, click next and name the project like I will name it slight or side menu app. Name it whatever you feel like then click next and create. Now we are in our project go to main.storyboard So guys here we want to make this uh, view controller embed in a, a side menu controller so first of all let's embed this view controller in a navigation controller so we'll go to navigate sorry editor embed navigation controller and then you will get your navigation controller in your main or storyboard now just drag and drop a bar button item uh, in your project I will drag this right here and I will name it like open to open our side menu uh, I have uh, dragged this bar button item here now we need a side menu so let's take a UI view UI view and put it right here and now, now that you have your UI view your side menu you need to fix some constraints on it so I'll add some constraints a little quick like this height and I'll give it um, 200 width and I'll add the 5 constraints now I will just put up some background color so that we can make a difference between the side menu and the background view of our view controller so let's change the background color let's give it some other color like like this and i will give this also some color just let's give it this color okay cool now we need this side menu to go out of this view when we click uh, when we click on open button for once and when we again click on the button open button if this side menu is on our view right here then it, it should go out of the view so what we what do we need to do now just take a view controller file for this uh, yeah it's already a view controller file the class is view controller let's go to view controller uh, let's let's make the outlet of this views leading constraint in the view controller file so where is the leading constraint yeah here is the leading constraint name it leading constraint click connect now what else you need you need this open button action to perform this uh, side menu to be in and out on the view uh, let's name it open now, first of all the connection type should be action and now the name of this button will be open button hit enter now yeah, we need to add our code here right here in our open button action so what do we want first of all let's check what is the width of this view so that we can make our changes accordingly its width is 200 and the constraint on this uh, uh, view is uh, uh, the leading constraint is uh, is zero so what do we want we want to make this view hide we want to hide this view when we click on this open button and unhide the view when we click on that button again so let's 
let's write the code now let's leading constraint dot constant equals to 200 when we click on this button it should go to minus 200 so let's check this application let's build and run this on iPhone 7 plus simulator and let's see how it works so here we have our application so guys when i will uh, click on this open button the this view should get hide or go out of this view like we have uh, set the constraint to be minus 200 when we click on open so let's check it yeah it's happening so what do we also require is uh, guys did you notice that the view was already here when we uh, just launched the application so it should not be there right so let's change the let's make the changes in the constraint of this view let's set the constraint of this view to be minus 200 when we initialize this app so let's do that let's add it the constraint of this view to be minus 200 okay now what we want is we want to hide this view on first click and to unhide the view on the second so let's write the code right here so guys let's suppose that the view is already hided like let's take a variable menu showing it is false and let's write the if and else conditions here like i'm writing if menu showing then then what should happen then it should switch to minus 200 on the click and else what should be here the leading constraint should be zero right so it would be like like this and to, to toggle the changes of a menu showing a value let's write menu showing is equals to not menu showing let's build and run this and see what happens is here we have our app so let's check when we click on open the uh, side menu comes up and when we click back on this open the side menu goes out of the view so uh, here you can see the animation is not that good it's popping up on the view and popping out so let's make it look much better and uh, we need to add some code right here like animation in our layer so ui view dot animate with duration let's say 0 0.3 and here we need to write self dot view dot layer if needed so it will be looking in a presentable manner this time let's see how it works in our app so guys let's see uh, how it works when we click on open it's coming in a presentable manner so so guys that's how we do it and you can try it yourself make more modifications add something right here in this uh, side menu make the changes and guys if you like this video tutorial please hit that like button down below and subscribe my channel so 
see you in the next one bye